I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop, and today we have a special guest, Janet Platt. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. And she's going to show us how to make this cute tea towel featuring her one and a half inch scallop quick points ruler. So let's get started. The first step is to cut our bias. What I first do is cut this at an angle so I can put it through the bias tape maker so that it can be fed easier. And what size strip did we cut today? It is a two inch strip to make a one inch bias. And then I put some of our trusty spray starch on it so it's nice and stiff. I take a little pin. This is nice and hot. And you're using just a pin just to pull it through. Yeah. And we're using the one inch tip, which is the tip that comes with the machine, the Simplicity Bias Tape Maker. Okay, let's put this little baby through. And it says go. That means we're a-okay. And I always leave the little ironing board here in case I want to re-iron it if it's not just right. Just in case, you never know. So you just pull yours through. Mm -hmm. well, it looks like it's coming through smoother than if you push the run button. I don't so. know. I like the control I, because it's just, I know. It comes out more even. Correct. Because then I know how perfect it's going to be. Isn't that terrible? Yeah, it looks really good. It looks better than when you push the run button. And you cut your strip on the straight of grain, right? Correct. And voila, looks pretty darn good to me. So we've got that. So what are the next steps in our tea towel? Okay, next we're going to take okay. the strips that we're going to put on the tea towel. And the tea towel is going to be red. And the tea towel, I think, is to your left. And then tell me what size scallops you've made. This is going to be the one and a half inch and what I do is I take them and I make it about one and a half times the width of the the width of this and then I'm going to ruffle it so I'm going to do three rows of course cover the bottom so it'll be ruffled so it'll look gathered but it's a little more perfect I like it just so, so it'll you be make like it this. one and a half one and a half times okay and this is a one and a half inch ruler also. And then this is gonna, and this go is gonna be on the top. So now we're gonna show you how to take her scallops and use the ruffler to gather them to up. To make, yes. This is my favorite foot in the whole wide world. I even have a machine set up with the foot. <laughs> and tell me what size you have that set to. I put this on a one, they have one, six, or 12, or zero. So I'm gonna put it on a one. So every stitch is going to ruffle. This is the coolest foot in the entire world, you guys. This is so you don't have to put two strings on and gather and all that stuff. Once you use it, you use it forever. You're just putting your fabric through and it's ruffling yep. it for you. It does it automatically. It's fabulous. And that's how easy it is. Isn't that awesome? This is so darling. It is so cute. And easy and quick and yippy skippy, you are done. So Looks we've awesome. All three ruffles done. Now what we're going to do is put them on the tea towel. And you can buy these anywhere, Target, Walmart, anywhere you would like. So what you want to do is just okay, inch and a quarter, there we are. So you just mark it. Hope I can see it later. There. 
then sometimes what I'll do is I will, if it's not fitting exactly, I'll like take the stitches break. and I'll just break them so it does fit and then you can gather it with your pins because it works. But I don't like to gather things, I'd rather ruffle it because it's so much easier. I just take it over the sewing machine. Okay, so then I leave the stitch length at a two and a half, and I love this foot because it's got this little guide, so it'll be perfectly the same all the way across, and perfect is good. And you've also got your machine set to a walking foot, so yes. that it pulls all this fabric through since it's so thick, right? done. And you did, you did a back stitch at the beginning and the end? Yes. To... This one automatically does a stitch, it knots it at the front, and then I just make sure I back stitch it at the end. Okay, row one, and we'll go. So she's going to measure an inch and a quarter above the last ruffle that we attached. Yep. And that's about there. Thanks, honey. Now we are ready to put on the bias tape. It is so cute. What I'm going to do is see how long this is. And then I'll add just a little extra. Like half an inch to the edges. Yep. And what I'm going to do is glue it over. Oh, I see what you're <laughs> doing. <laughs> I can figure it out. Yeah, let's just cheat just a little. <laughs> Why nutty? <laughs> awesome. Hey, if nobody knows, why not, honey? So when you're gluing the, when you're ironing the glue, it makes it set. Oh, yes. Okay. And it's water soluble. So if you, okay, let's say this set till my next show, I could rip it off and it would come apart. If you wash it, it's gone because it's water soluble. It's acid free. It's awesome. And so since we're going to sew on top of it... It'll never come off. It's awesome. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's just wonderful. So you're going to glue on the back side. Mm -hmm. And you're just making a line. Are you going all the way across? Yep. Just be aware your grandkids will think this is Elmer's glue. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I wasn't serious. <laughs> And so how many inches are you overlapping? Just about a quarter uh, of an inch? Yeah, I'm just going over the top so you can't see the top of it. Okay, just barely over the top. Yep. Okay. Nice thing is you put water on this, this goes away. It's awesome-y. And then I iron it so it's really stuck well. And then the good news is you don't have to take any pins out. <laughs> A little bit of glue, make it sit down. Yep. Now that we have the bias tape glued, no pins, notice guys. Then you put it in your machine. And then I have that little foot that's got the little, I call it the rudder foot, but it's not the proper name. And it's got a guide. It's got a guide. So it'll be perfect all the way across. It's awesome. Yep. Let me move her back just a 
titch. Now we're finished with the bias, so we are all finished with this cute little project. Janet, thank you so much for coming today in this wonderful design. We love this tea towel and we hope you make one too. Share it on Facebook and show us what you can make. Thanks for watching today.